Hi! Aloha mai kako! Welcome to a pre-recorded class of Halau na Puahala Kuno Ikekai. I am Kumu Kanoi and we are coming to you, not live. <laughs> um, every week we do a live class on Tuesday nights here from our home in Nu'uanu. But this week that you're watching this, we're very excited because my husband and I are celebrating our 10-year wedding anniversary. And so we really thank you for bearing with us as we pre-record this class so that you can still have class on Tuesday while we, I don't know, have a massage or an onsen or a mai tai or something like that. I don't know what people do on vacation, but we're going to do it. So um, unfortunately, we won't be able to interact with you during this class like we normally do, but I want you to know how thankful we are that you are here. And when we return from our anniversary vacation, I will be sure to get to all of the comments, questions, and anything that you might put down below. So feel free to say hello to one another. I know a number of you folks will be watching this live. Um, we will be covering verse 4 of Pola Ila'i um, and we have already covered verse 1, 2, and 3. We will put the link to the review for those three verses that we did last week in the description of this video. So if you would like to go back and practice verse 1, 2, and 3 a little bit more slowly, you could watch any of the lessons from uh, the month of July or you could put check out the one in the link that we will include. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I do believe that it is time. Welcome back. Um, I know that many of you are watching from all over the world. So I uh, just want to send our aloha in advance to those of you watching in Mexico, in Germany, in Korea, in Hong Kong, of course, on the U.S. mainland and right here in Hawaii. We're so thankful that you are a part of our hula ohana and um, hope that you enjoy today's class. We are going to be teaching right now verse number four of Pola Ila'i. Uh, remember, Pola Ila'i was written uh, by Mary Kavena Pukui and Maddie K. Lam. We talked a little bit about Maddie Lam last week, and next week I'll, I'll give you a little bit more of the details on Mary Kavena Pukui. But for today, we're just going to dive right into verse number four, Pauhu Eha. So, verse four says, Huliaku. And of course, we all are familiar with that term. Huli, like huli huli chicken, or ehuli, ehuli mako. That means to turn. So in this verse, it says, huliaku kawa yuka. Uka means towards the upland. Um, you know, when we say, oh yeah, up mauka or down makai, those directional terms are something that is very ingrained in the Hawaiian way of thinking. When you look mauka, you're saying ma and uka. So towards the uka or towards the upland, towards the mountainous area. And when I say makai, then it's looking towards the ocean or towards the sea. So in this verse, it's very similar to mauka. You have iuka. Yeah? So huliaku kawa yuka means turn the two of us towards the mountain. Okay, so for that, your left hand is going to be across your chest. Right hand is going to be right above head level wind from the center of your body. And you're going to push toward the right. And I am mirroring you. So this will be your left hand. Just as you see, your right hand will be above your head. Okay, so you're going to turn. You're going to sweep your hands down. And then they're going to place right there on the left side. So that uka is actually kind of more like a valley. It goes from one side all the way to the other. And for this one, you're going to kind of use the center of your arm or, you know, where your Hawaiian bracelet falls. That's where you're going to line up your hands for your uka motion. Okay, so start with your left hand across your chest. Right hand is going to turn you. 
Pulia kuka uka. Then the right hand is gonna pull back to your chest and the left hand stays where it is. Ikaa a nafuku. You're gonna flick the fingers. One, switch, two, switch, three, switch, four. Now that second line is talking about the kukui, but it's not talking about kukui nuts or kukui leaves or inamona. Um, this one is talking about flickering lights, uh, electricity, right? So we're saying if you look up towards the mountains, you're going to see the flickering lights of all the homes that are up there um, iuka in the uplands, okay? So once more, left hand starts across your chest, right hand is going to turn you. Pull the right hand back. Now, both hands are going to reach out to the sides, and you're going to wave one time. So this is another one talking about stars. In the first verse, we had stars. Now, this time we're seeing flickering lights that are like like ua like menahoku. They're similar to or they appear as the stars. So you're going to wave your hands down. Ua like menahoku. Okay, let's add that all the way from the beginning. Huliaku. Left hand starts at your chest, right hand is going to turn you. Huliaku ka ua ka. Flickering four times. Then you're going to wave at shoulder level. Then the pali, you're going to use your wrist as a guide. In a pali, you're going to bring your right hand, turn palms in, and your left hand is going to touch right in the palm. So this is what that looks like up close so that you can see. It's going to be out to the side over here. So you're going to push across the top of the mountain range, and then you're going to place your hand right in the palm of your hand for your pulley or cliff motion. Remember, Uncle Kimo Keolana, um, he always says, don't block your face unless you're ugly. Okay, so you're not ugly. Bring your elbow down. We want to see your lovely smiling faces when you do this pulley motion. Okay. Oh, feel the burn. Okay, left hand is across your chest. Huliaku, turn to the side. It goes. Huliaku ka ua i u ka. Twinkle. I ka a a na ku ku i. Wave at shoulder level. Ua li ke me na ho ku. Push across the mountain. E ka ua na i na pali. And then your vamp to the right. And left, huliaku, turn. A huliaku ka ua i u ka. I ka a a na ku ku i. Wali ke me na ho ku. E ka ua na i na pali. Ka holo to the right and left. So that was your hands for that fourth verse. Now, I'm sorry I can't answer questions live today, but be sure to type them into the comments if you have questions, and I'll come back and answer them um, as soon as we can, okay? So hang in there, hang in there. We're going to add the feet right now. So for huliaku, we're going to do a kaholo, but instead of just doing the kaholo, kaholo straight to the right, we're actually going to turn our body a quarter turn. So we're going to turn it one, two, three, tap. I'm going to show you that in the Vavai cam so that you can get a little bit better view. Instead of just taking the kaholo straight towards the side, we're going to turn it towards the four, uh, sorry, not the 45, but 90 degrees to turn toward the wall on your right. So here we go. Then on iuka, we're going to kaholo toward the camera or forward. Okay, so let's try that one more time just from this view. Turning to the side, here we go. Okay, so now let's try that with the hands and feet. You can come back to the main camera. Left hand is across your chest. Right hand is up above. Ready, set. Here we go. Now, you're going to stay facing this way, and you're going to flicker with your hands forward, kind of forward a little bit at the angle you're gonna flick 
Then you're going to turn towards the back. Your back is facing me now. And then your hands are going to go up, flick. Then you're going to turn to the side. Your hand is facing to the back, flick. And then you're going to come back here. So there's four corners. And I know on, um, online or on Facebook, it can be a little bit tricky to see how this goes. Let's try and focus on how the feet will look. So let's look at the Vavai cam. Let's do Huliaku turning to the side. Huliaku ka ka. Your right foot is going to step one, step two, step three, step four. And then you come back around to the front. Okay, so you have just four steps to go around. Once more, just the feet. Ready, and here we turn. Huliaku ka ka. Walking around. Okay, we're going to try one more view, which is the overhead camera. Hopefully, this will help you get a little bit more of an idea of where my shoulders and my upper body is turning as we do this. So just the feet again. Huliaku, turning to the side, go right. Huliaku, stay here. Walk around. Okay, now let's try putting it all together in this angle first, and then we'll do from the front angle. Ready, and turn it. Okay, we're going to come back to the regular camera and give it one more try. I know this one's a little tricky, but uh, hang with me. Okay, ready, turning. Step right and left and right and kaholo right. So that part is simple. After all that fancy footwork, we're just going to kaholo right and left on kaholo to the right. Kaholo to the left. At the end of your hoku, your left foot is going to turn you out towards the side, right here, because you're getting ready to do one o right and kaholo to the left. I know that's a little tricky when we do only one side and not both sides, but I know you can do it. We've been working on this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's go from oli kemeno hoku, kaholo towards the right, and in the pali place the palm kaholo to the right here's the whole palku eha huliaku huliaku ka uaiuka ika ana kukui stars wali kemena hoku Flicker and flicker step right and left. Kaholo, right? Wali kemena hoku. Eka uanai napali in the palm. Kaholo to the right and left. Okay, that was verse number four. Let's try verse four with the music. And then the only thing left for today is to run verse one, two, three, and four. And then that's it. Okay? So just verse four for now. Pauku eha huliaku kawayuka. Let's turn towards the uplift. Okay, so if you would like to learn ha ina, 
you have to come back next week when we will be live again. Um, we'll be back from our trip. I'll tell you all about it, how fabulous it is, was, is going to be, whatever. <laughs> um, but so today was verse four. Right now we're going to do verse one, two, three, and four, and then that will be it for today. Thank you for coming and taking a little walk with us as we um, go together under the moon. We smell the fragrance of the peacock, which smells kind of like garlic shrimp right now because dinner is going to happen in a little bit. But uh, <laughs> And then we hear the sweet sounds of the ukulele and the song that uplifts the heart. And then we turn toward the uplands and see those glittering lights up there on the hills. Okay? So let's go for a walk. All first four verses of Pola Ilai. Kahua i ka holo holo i ka po mahina la ila di e kilo ho ona ne a i na ho kuwa kala ni kawa kahua i ka holo holo i ka po mahina la ila di e kilo ho ona ne. Don't forget to practice, 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 and come back next week so that we can finish Pola Ilai all together. It will be the final verse, Ha Ina, which pretty much just sums up the whole story and tells you where this young couple ends up at the end of the night. So <laughs> I hope that you folks have been enjoying Pola Ilai and that you have a fabulous week. I know. Uh, already, even though this is pre-recorded, I know that I will be having a fabulous time with the fabulous Luke, who's behind the camera. Thank you so much for this gift of a week off to go and celebrate our 10-year anniversary. Couldn't think of any better way to do it. So <sighs> have a wonderful week. And until next time, ho.